What is happening, Magnus Sykes? Happy Turkey Day. Just got back from seeing Wish by Walt Disney Pictures. So, going into this movie, uh, today I watched a few videos, um, not any reviews, but just videos that were kind of talking about it and stuff like that. And uh, from what I hear, it was supposed to be like, Celebrating 100 Years of Disney, it was supposed to be about the origin of the song When You Wish Upon a Star, but it was changed for whatever reasons, from what I understand. So, I knew that going into it. This movie does, it gives callbacks and hints at other Disney films when you're watching it. And if you wait till the end of the movie... Uh, there is a post-credit scene. After all the credits, there is a post-credit scene. So I guess you uh, Super Disney fans will want to wait for that. That does kind of hint at the whole... Well, anyway. So, what you guys want to know about it? All right, I'll tell you. So, I uh, I would say the character that I enjoyed the most was probably the villain. The villain made me laugh a couple of times. And I think he was portrayed almost in a more, I guess you could say, real type of way. You know how a lot of times a villain or even a good guy or a girl or gal, whatever, you they, they're so goody-goody or the bad, you know, the villain's just evil to be evil, just evil, 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 evil. This guy... It was more like he wanted good for his people, but he also had this kind of like, I know what's best for you type of thing. And I think that that was manipulated later on with certain things that happened. And it definitely clouded his judgment and brought the worst out of him, so to speak. Um, it, it's, it's what you have come... The animation was good. The animation was good. Um, I consider the story to be okay. It was all right. It was all right. You know, um, the girl's got a couple of buddies in there. She's got a, a star and a goat. Uh, and she's got a, you know, a gang of like five friends there. Her people's in there. And, you know, it's all about these people's wishes and their wishes being fulfilled. And whether these wishes should be fulfilled or not. And she gets into basically a struggle, I guess you could say, of morals between her and this magician king. And that's where we have our story about what's right and what's wrong, um, about wishes being granted or not being granted, and uh, you know, people still having their wishes and their hopes and stuff like that. Um, the singing. The singing was good. Uh, I felt a couple of the songs were kind of catchy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but nothing like, let it go, let it go, or the circle of life, catchy, 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 catch, rule the soul. You know, nothing like that, you know, to where I'm like, you know, people are going to be talking about the songs, you know what I mean? It wasn't anything like that, but they were good. They were good for what they were. Like I said, the animation was good. The story was like, hey, you know. Uh, but when I was in there, see, you guys have to remember. I know the conspiracy theory side of a lot of things. So when I see certain things, my ear, my the spidey sense, the, the magnus sense starts tingling. And you know, there's a lot of things that I noticed. Not going to even go into that here. But yes, if you become familiar with certain tropes of Disney films, it's in there. But I would say not as in your face as normal. So I guess that's a good thing. You know, um, overall, I'm going to give this film a 2.75 out of 5. Woo! So... No, it was, it was okay. You know, it's okay. Um, it wasn't, I wouldn't say meh, 
meh, it's middle of the road for me. Like, meh. But it was okay. It was okay. You know, I laughed a couple of times, literally a couple of times. And, you know, it was just, you know, majority of the time I was kind of like this. But I didn't, I don't think, I, I didn't come out of the movie not liking it. Or not liking something about it. If I were to dig deeper and go to that level, probably. But I'm just saying, just on surface, as a surface viewer, there was nothing, anything that I didn't like. But there was a few things I did like. But it was nothing that's going to make you say this is one of the greatest animated Disney films of all time. I assume it should be if you are celebrating 100 years of Disney. Uh, that rhymed in the game bars. Uh, but, you know, it just it falls flat. You know, it's one of those things like, like if it was supposed to be this huge tentpole event for Disney and for the holidays, then it, it definitely fell short. It's not a Lion King. It's, it's not a, you know, Frozen. Um, it's not any... It, it, it's it's not any of the big ones. It's not an Aladdin. I think this is going to fall under a lot of people's radar. Which is okay. It was, it was, like if someone was a Disney fan, I'm like, yeah, you know, was this one any good? Like, it was okay. I mean, you know, if you, you want to go see it, I, I don't think you're going to not like it. You might just come out with an okay. It was a high. You, know, you might even come out with a meh. Um, if you are looking for everything, though, that irritates you about Disney, eh, you're not going to like it. <laughs> I try to go in with, with, with this particular mindset. I try to go in this with this in-between mindset with a lot of these films. And and when things aren't just... Cert, certain things are shoved in your face so hard the way they do certain things. It can be ex extremely irritating. And I feel like this movie didn't do that, although certain tropes were there. So if I were to speak just as a Disney fan, talking to any other Disney fan, um, if they're saying, should I spend my money to go see this movie? I would tell them, you can. I mean, I would go to a matinee or I would wait for it to come out on Disney+. Plus. But I'm not coming out of this like, yo, you got to see. It was really good. It was really, really. It, Disney's back. Disney's back. Celebrating 100 years. Like, I'm not feeling like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. If you enjoy my movie review, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe and share. 10 million subscribers.